What's up, everybody? It is me, City of Pyramids. I'm here to break down some lyrics from my new album, I Know You Play the Game, out everywhere. So excited. Uh, although I'm not really sure why I'm here. I don't really have a lot of lyrics, but we are going to have a good time. I love Tron, like the original Tron soundtrack, Blade Runner. I love that 80s vibe, but I also love, you know, house music and dance music. My style kind of blends all of those together. I really make stuff that I like listening to. I think that's really, really important for musicians because if you make music that you like, you never question whether or not you're doing the right thing, it's something that you love. I make all my music, I master my music, I make all my own videos, I do all the animation, I edit everything myself. So like just a huge passion project for me. I'm also kind of a control freak, so I kind of want everything to be the way that I see it in my head. Yeah, hold on. There's, wait, there's going to be lyrics coming up in a second. Okay. Okay. Uh, I love this awe uh, sound. It's just very, like, kind of feels like you're in, like, a warehouse party, you know? And then I got the chick coming in, singing the ooze. Okay, this one, there's lyrics in this one. Um, I'm not really sure, like, because I just sampled this from, like, a, a larger chunk. BDD. BDD. I think we got, I, I think we got a few. All right, there's no lyrics in this one, but there, this faux guitar thing I have going on right now is, like, so sick, so we're just going to listen to that. Like, when you chop stuff up, it's like kind of hard to, to tell, I guess. There we go. There we go. We got, we got some on the board. We got some on the board. This one is academic. I love this one. Something about real love. I mean, I don't like, I don't even know why I was invited here. I mean, I'm like super happy to be here, but like, I just chop up all the vocals so they sound like really cool. So, People make music, they're trying to make music for what is current now, and it's cool and it works, but I always like to kind of shoot for where things are going to be. And it's like when they throw a football, you know, you're like, throw it where the person's going to be, not for where they're at now. And I feel like the great musicians like The Beatles, The Weeknd, Slipknot, their music wasn't like loved right at the beginning. Like people might be like, ah, oh, your music sucks, you suck, everyone hates you, like what are you doing? And then something happens where it's almost like people catch up to where the music lives in the future, right? And, and then all of a sudden they're like the kings of that that space, that sound, right? And I just love that concept. It's like, just because people don't like your stuff now doesn't mean that you're a failure, doesn't mean that people aren't gonna like it. You're almost like you're shooting for where people are gonna be and where their ears are gonna be. And uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully it works. And hopefully you like my stuff while I'm alive, please. <laughs> <laughs> Please like my stuff while I'm alive because sure, I could be dead and, you know, but that's not fun because then I can't hear you when you're like, oh my God, your music is amazing. <laughs> Follow and support artists while they're alive because they will like it. They will, they really do care because when they're dead, they're not going to appreciate it as much. <laughs> All right. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you learned a lot of new lyrics from my album. I know you play the game. 
probably didn't because there's really no lyrics. We got some oohs, we got some ahs. I mean, we got some some things. Your your guess is as good as mine. You tell me. Come join me. Join me, and you can tell everybody uh, what the lyrics are in my song. See you later. And it's super fun to just try a bunch of things. Like, it's almost like skateboarding. Like, you're gonna fall a thousand times before you hit one trick, right? When you're making music, like, I can't tell you how many times everything sounds like ass until it doesn't sound like ass.